Welcome. This particular lecture will talk about or provide an overview of what financial planning is needed in a business plan. Um, what we'll talk about is how you summarize your business model and summarize your business in the context of financial statement. This is only an overview because we're going to have a separate module uh, on venture financial planning, which will go into considerably more detail about how you actually put your financial statements together. But for now, it's important to know what people reading a business plan, investors or partners, would expect to see as you developed, as they were reading through your business plan. In other words, what will be in the financial section of a business plan. So let's talk about that. First of all, it's generally, um, it's generally a certain period of time. I put here five years, it could be four years, it could be six years, but you always have a, an income statement that shows how your business will be functioning going forward. And in fact, you have an income statement, a balance sheet, and a cash flow that's, um, that's typically a annual cash flow, and it's nice to have or uh, annual financial statements, and it's nice to have quarterly for at least a couple of years as well. Um, what you're trying to accomplish here, actually, though, is that you want to make sure that you have enough time, one year, two years, three years, you'll be thinking to yourself, how can I know I'm just making this thing up now? How can I know what's going to happen in five years? Yeah, the reason for the longer length of time is you want to make sure that your business, the financials of your business have had enough time to get you through the startup phase and to really show the potential that your business has going forward to become successful. So you need enough time that you get through those growing pains and you really start to launch into an expansion or a growth phase so that someone reading the plan can easily extrapolate what could be happening six, seven, eight, nine years out. If you only do one or two years or three years, sometimes you haven't really figured out who you are and what your opportunities are, so you don't really see what the upside is. That's why you need that extra time. You also want to have uh, five years that show a good cash flow, um, and that means um, making, paying attention to things that are different than just the income statement. If you're buying equipment <clears throat> or making investments um, that you're capitalizing in one way or another, you have to make sure that you make those uh, the appropriate adjustments. If you're trading on credit and the like, you have accounts receivable, um, you'll have some, or you have accounts payable, you have to make sure that you make the, the adjustments associated with that. Uh, cash is what's important in a startup business. You need to have enough cash to make payroll and all your other, pay all your other bills and at the same time have cash left over for investing in growth. So you want to also reflect your cash flow. By the way, that's also what people use to actually value or do the valuation of your business. Um, and of course, the balance sheet, which is all of your assets and your, uh, your liabilities, also shows the paid-in capital and the like. In addition to the financial statements, um, you'll typically have a, um, a, a one-year, by the way, the first-year budget as well. Uh, but in addition to that, you'll want a table of what all your assumptions are, um, what you would call the notes, if you will, of how, uh, how your income statement, balance sheet, and cash flow come together. Uh, if you have any, how you're recognizing your revenue, what your unit sales are, how many unit sales you expect to have, some caveats, how you handle uh, returns and, and um, quality issues, how you, uh, if, if you're recognizing like subscription revenue, how you're recognizing that revenue if it's different than cash basis. So you want to capture all of that so someone looking at your financial statements gets a real sense of what your business is like and that you you have a, a professional handle on the money that's going through your operation. Um, you also want to have a lot of, uh, you want to have a summary materials like maybe the annual statements in your actual business plan, but then you'll have some additional schedules um, of detail in this drill down format, which I'll go into in a minute, that might be appendices. Uh, the drill down format, format typically means you'll have a section where you can go into a monthly income statement and you might have expenses, employee expenses, then you might have an additional spreadsheet that shows all of your employees and what their salaries are for a monthly basis. Or you might have a list of equipment that is uh, purchased or owned by the business as a drill down, if you will. In other words, getting more detail 
on particular line items, you have some material in your appendices. So that's what you look for um, in your financials. And as I said, we will have a separate lecture or separate module on how you go about doing all that, which we just described, uh, which will come along a little bit later. Next, we'll close out this module of the business plan um, in our next lecture, where we talk about take a step back a little bit and say, now that all this is done, what makes a good plan and what makes a not so good plan? And that's what we'll talk about in our next lecture, um, and we will see you there.